Hello, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh, and sometimes I wonder if I've been cursed by somebody. Because every time I feel happy, something happens to destroy that happiness. I have a problem with my spine. The spine presses on the crushed disc. The crushed disc causes my feet to go paralyzed, and if I carry too much, my back goes out. Well, I went to the doctor yesterday, and I came home, and going to San Francisco wears me out physically. I come home and usually take a nap. I took a shower and take a nap, took a nap, and I said, I'll feed the kitties in the morning. I can't walk because my feet were dead. My back was killing me, and I was in a lot of pain. Well, I feel really horrible right now. I got some money in the mail. No, it was not a donation. And... I put it in the bank and I went over to feed my little black kitty and the other kitty that I've been feeding for months. When I first started feeding them, they wouldn't let me go near them, but they would eat the food. Well, now they come up to me, they nuzzle me. And the little gray and white long-eared kitty with a pink nose, I called it Pinky, it was born in the building with the other one. The person that used to own them abandoned them left and left them there to starve. And the people there feed them sometimes, but they don't always. So I've been feeding them every day. And the little gray and white one, the long-haired, fuzzy-tailed kitty, very sweet. It tried to follow me home one night. I said, no, you can't go home. I already have too many kitties. I have three. And Fu Fluffy wouldn't understand another kitty coming here. He would attack her until he got to know her. Well, I walked over to feed her today, and the little black one, and the guy that lives there, and he called her my Christmas kitty because she was they were born on Christmas. I called for Pinky. I went in the back, and I said, there's no Pinky. Oh, she'll come to eat. And he says, you can't, you can't feed her. I said, why not? She's dead. I said, what? She says, she was out there waiting for you last night, squeaking and crying, looking for you for food, and she ran out in the street, and somebody killed her. So I feel horrible. This is why I need a car. This is part of the reason why I ask people for donations. If I had a car, I could have driven over there. It wouldn't have hurt my back. I can't walk, but I could have stumbled down the stairs, gotten in the car, and driven the three blocks, and fed the little kitty. And I feel like I killed her. And I was going to give her to Kathy, because Kathy came here, but she had to leave. She got here late. She didn't do a video and she can't get her bed out because some idiot glued her the bed she got. I don't know where she got this stupid bed. Glued the bed to the frame, glued the mattress to the box spring, and the bed is full of fleas because Patty brought her rat dog in, and it's full of fleas. So I'm going to go over there Monday and get rid of the bed, and I'm going to tell her, you're taking the little black kitty so it doesn't get killed because it too runs out in the street, but not because of me. They have nowhere to play. There's a sidewalk and porches, and there's nowhere for them to be happy. And she says, well, I take the little gray kitty, you'll be afraid, and it won't, it won't want to go out. And I said, look, there's lots of kitties that turn to indoor kitties. Once they get food and love and they're safe, they don't want to go outside anymore. But now the little sweet kitty waited for me. She nuzzled me. She would fluff her tail up. She squeaked at me and meowed at me. She's dead, and I feel horrible. And the last thing I feel tonight is like cooking or doing videos or anything. So, I had my mini mouse running out and get hit by a car here when I wasn't home. When I was sick years ago, when I was home, I was sick with another sinus infection that almost killed me. And we had another cat, the cat he had, run out in the street because my kitties, when I lived with her, would go out and it got run over. So, this is the third cat that's gotten run over. And Kathy had one that saw you got run over. But when you have an animal, and I love dogs, I love birds, I love deer, I love horses, I love animals. You're supposed to protect them, and I feel like I've let the kitty down. So I feel horrible. All right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh, and I hope you have a better evening than I do. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.